Hey Texas Flycaster visitors and subscribers, welcome to the only channel dedicated to fly fishing in Texas and news about fly fishing in Texas since 2007. Got my laptop going, trying to beat the rain because the weather is once again closing in here in North Texas. If you've been missing my videos, hey, I'm sorry, but the weather has been crazy. We've got a Super El Nino. You can read more about it on my website, www.texasflycaster.com. That was an AI, artificial intelligence generated chat GPT story, and that ran today, which is Sunday, June 2nd, 2024. So I want to let you know about some changes that are coming to the channel, and I really appreciate you guys pushing me over 4,000 subscribers in the legitimate way that you did. No dreadlocks and no gimmicks. We're over 4,000 now. We're going to 10,000, I hope. We'll see. Anyway, I was going back through my channel and I was looking back, and so this new change is kind of a forward and reverse change. I've thought a lot about in the last few weeks as I've been going through all my videos from the last 17 years. I'm going to bring back the old worn out Texas fly fishing reports. We're going to call it Texas fly fishing and news reports. And that is going to have a lot of different categories on it. The reason I'm bringing it back is because I realized how disorganized it was. I was going through the videos, re-optimizing them and, and keywording them and everything, and I realized there's lots of little jewels buried in many, many years of these reports that were never noticed or notified because people kind of stopped watching. So we're gonna put, we're gonna change this up. Let me just read this to make it easier for you. The reason is, like I said, tons of nuggets, hot spots, theories, inside things that were never seen. And, uh, you know, my old style was just like uh, right off the hip and shooting from the hip and uh, big mashup like a blender. Now you can hit the description for timestamps to what information you might be seeking and those will be there in every single Texas fly fishing news report going forward. So now you just look in the description. If you see something interesting, you click on that and go. Those chapter markers will also appear in the rolling timeline as well. Simple, right? No, it's not. It's a lot more work for me, but we're going to try to do this weekly, try to make it valuable to you guys, um, and we'll see how it goes. Some segments will survive, some will not. And you can bet I will drift a new segment or two by you on this river information. As always, I love getting feedback and hearing what kinds of success you're having fishing in this huge state of Texas. So please comment or contact me. Send photos and I will fit them into the news report for everyone's benefit. People, I, I couldn't do this without you. I do get information that goes on to my Instagram. So always check the Instagram, at Texas Flycaster, if you're wondering where that is. And the website, of course, is loaded up. Now, here's where I go scatological. Um, we've had a lot of rain. Um, you can see we've had tornadoes go through. I'll drop some footage in right here. Uh, this tornado hit about, well, this is a series of tornadoes. This one hit the Sanger Boat Ramp Marina, the marina at, at the Sanger Boat Ramp, and it made the, <laughs> the marina, I mean, the boat ramp uh, disappear. It's underwater. All the ramps that go out there, I saw them underwater when I was out of my boat a couple of days ago. It's, uh, it's pretty much a disaster area. So that's what's going on. I hope this video uh, from the drone will help you see what's going on there. Guess what? Lots of fish in those trees and bushes because not only do we have this wild weather, we have no water release hardly at all going into Louisville Lake. The lake level is about four feet above uh, conservation pool that means it's four feet into the flood level at Ray Roberts which is my lake that I fish the most and I go from there there'll be more details about how we're going to break this news down into different segments uh, coming soon and but it's going to be great it's, it's really going to be great it's going to start hyper local and then we're going to branch out and we're not going to we're not going to have big scrolls of lake information we're just going to hit the best ones from the scrolls quote unquote the best um, and skip all the rest and then we'll take a highlight on the coast and we'll talk about other things whether it's party coming up down at Living Waters Fly Fishing the fly shop in Round Rock Texas or anybody else that's having parties or whatever club meetings we're gonna really throw it all against the wall and see what sticks going forward 
on the Texas Flycaster Fly Fishing Reports and News. News and Reports. <laughs> We're going to call it something like that. We'll see. Thanks for watching this video, guys. Thanks for taking me over 4,000 subscribers. Be sure you like, be sure you subscribe if you haven't already. And we're going to get after it as soon as the, here comes the rain. Here comes the rain again. So we've we got we to gotta walk between the raindrops, get the camera out of the rain. And we're going to get this out to you guys as soon as possible. Thanks. Have a great week.